It's the evening of December 5th. All over Belgium, the Netherlands and some parts of Germany, children are placing their shoes near the fireplace. Our fireplace is bricked up, so I'm just putting my shoe near somewhere. And in that shoe they place the offerings of a handwritten letter telling Sinterklaas what their heart desires, because they have been good this year and they, so they deserve a gift. Other offerings include a carrot for the horse named Slecht Weer Vandaag. Don't believe whatever Dutch people are saying. It is not called Amerigo, it is called Slecht Weer Vandaag. And maybe a bit of beer for Pete. And then all the good children in our Dutch speaking world go to sleep and eagerly await the morning to find out whether Sinterklaas has brought them a gift. So, giddy giddy giddy, here is my. Sinterklaas gift, my Saint Nicholas gift. Let's open it up. Let's see what we have got from the good holy man. Yes, duct taped it real shut. Okay, so this is actually not part of what I know is in this box, so that's that. We're gonna save that for later. It says cadeau, so it's actually a gift. Because spoiler alerts, this is not actually a gift from St. Nicholas, it's a gift from myself to myself. But that counts, that's the same. I've been a good girl. I got antique or, or vintage spindles. I thought they would all be French spindles. I think they, they are. They're made out of one piece. Some of them have a metal top. Oh my god, they are so beautiful. You can see the patina on them. People have been using them. They're twiddles, twiddle spindles or, or in-hand spindles. This one, yeah, you can see the tip is a little bit, oh come on, will you, will you focus on that spindle now, will you? The tip is a little bit worse for wear. How oh, beautiful. I will give you some better shots in a moment, but right now I'm just too excited to <laughs> look at them all. The woodworking, the craft on this is amazing. <laughs> Look at them! This is a rather simple one, but interestingly enough, it has a, a spiral tip on both ends of the spindle. That's cool. That's really interesting. This is one is so simple, but uh, so elegant. So elegant! Oh my god! <laughs> Look how beautiful. These are the ones I have gifted myself, so Seven spindles, that's um, quite the extension to my collection of fiber tools. But then there was the seller's gift. I'm quite interested to know what's in there. It says Kinui India. I, I am not good enough with French to know what Kinui means, so let's check out what this is. Oh my god. Look at these, they are painted. I'm speechless. Oh my god. I don't know if they're actually from India or not. Uh, I don't know anything about them. Just that I am speechless. Oh my god. My heart is pounding like, oh my god. Look at them! I almost feel like these belong in a museum. I mean, you can't tell me this is not 
an actual magic wand. There is no way this is not a magic wand. <laughs> the listing said they were antique. I have got no clue about how old they are, but just look at this one, little tip. It just gives us such medieval vibes. I mean, this pin, of course, is not medieval, but look at it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so people that don't want to watch me actually use one of these antique spindles um, they better stop the video now because sure as heck I am going to try these out I think I'll use this one this one is the lightest and the plainest of them all so I don't think I'll get snagged up on all the decorations on it and it will not feel I don't think I'll drop it as uh, easily as this one because this one is hefty <laughs> It's really hefty. And these Indian ones, I don't even dare to use. They are actually just museum pieces. I, I am convinced. Or maybe they're not even Indian. If someone out there knows more about these spindles than I do, please put it down in the comments. I, I really want to know stuff about this. So these French spindles, they are called twiddle spindles or in-hand spindles or hand spindles. They are not suspended, <laughs> as the name says. So they are used with a distaff. Um, I do not have a distaff, but I have a stick. I put some wool on there. This is one of the bats from the drop spindle video from last summer. Yes, I did not get round to spin more with my drop spindles. <laughs> and now I have this amazing collection of hand spindles. So, yeah. <laughs> well, let's see if we can do anything with it. I, I don't master the technique of in-hand twiddle spindling. So yeah, you will go on a journey with me. But I am beyond excited to do this. I um, eventually chose a different spindle, this one. Blah. Because it has a ridge where my leader yarn can rest against. I don't even know if I should use a leader yarn, but it kind of felt like the logical thing to do because I don't know how to spin this spindle yet, so just randomly spinning yarn on it, wool on it, didn't seem like a good idea. <laughs> so just let, let's try, because I don't know what movements I need to make with my hands. This shit's difficult, yo. <laughs> you can't even get it to stay in the spiral. <laughs> oh, my lord. <laughs> Are we in the spiral? We are in the spiral. Ah, twiddling, we're twiddling. Blah, 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 blah. we're not twiddling. <laughs> twiddle, twiddle, twiddle. <laughs> How did they do it? It's a mystery, but the French are always a little bit different and we Belgians don't understand them. But we do love going on a holiday. A good morning kind friends we are back again yesterday i had a lot of practice with my little spindle over here i have learned quite a few things firstly that spinning drafting from a distaff and winding a beautiful cup are three completely different art forms in and of itself and i have mastered none <laughs> Really, if anyone ever says to me that people from the past are inherently less intelligent than we are, I am going to make them spin with a distaff on a twiddling spindle on the spot. Because this takes a lot of brain power. But having the right materials to do it also helps. Because I was spinning on this little one, and while it works, I was trying out some other spindles from the collection. and. Um, I found that this one, this chunky, big, hefty, girthy spindle, that really worked for me. 
This is my favorite out of the entire collection of spindles. As you can see, there is a significant difference. This one really is my favorite. Although this one spins nicely, this is this just feels more like I have a connection with it. I don't know. It's something strange. I can't explain. This one is my spindle. I feel you focus on the yarn now, camera. So that was already quite a bit of practice, though I still have quite some fluff left on my this staff, this stick. So we will practice some more. Another feat of my brain power is that I realized that these two beautifully painted and thoroughly used spindles are certainly not Indian spindles, because when I think of Indian spindles, I think of a takli, which is very fine, spins very fast, and is made to spin cotton with. I think these are Eastern European, maybe Romanian, Ukrainian, and probably the ones they use with the, the wrist flick. I don't know, I saw, I saw a viral video once with a woman doing something quite like that. If I can put a little screen cap over here, that will help. So yeah, I think these are most certainly Eastern European. And these are quite similar in shape, aren't they? They are just a bit thinner, that's all. Maybe the spindles I got aren't all French spindles, but just an amalgamate of European spindles, which is cool. I now have a collection of antique European spindles. And with antique I also mean I don't know how old they are. If anyone has like a good resource to find out the age and location of my spindles, put it down in the comments. I'm a historian. I would like to know. So back to the spinning, I'd say. Maybe a couple of things of why I like this one more. Is it because even though I said I can't explain, I actually can explain. It has a lot more momentum because it is thicker. It has a much more pronounced spiral groove. So the groove, is that a word? So the yarn st stays in there. It stays put. It wants to do what I want it to do. <laughs> but this one, it's a really faint spiral. So it just poops out of it every time. So there we go, my this stick, my this staff stick is empty, the wool has all been spun up into these two cups. I will ply this one by making a plying bracelet, if I do it with this one I probably have to dislocate my middle finger to get it loose and I am quite attached to my ability to flip off the patriarchy so um, probably will make a center pull ball out of this one. But for now let's make a plying bracelet. I'm going to make the plying a little bit easier on myself by taking the spindle that has an actual hook on its end so I don't have to worry about the direction of winding. The plied yarn will also probably be too thick to really fit into the spiral grooves. It's not cheating, being smart. I thought it was smart but it's also just coming up the hook as well. And there we go, our first bit of a two-ply yarn made with these antique spindles. Either it doesn't have enough twist or it is quite balanced. Doesn't look the part though.
Anyway, I am quite surprised with how fast I could spin yarn on these spindles. Although that should actually not be a surprise because these things were used to make all kinds of cloth in past centuries. So it being tediously slow, that just doesn't make any sense logically if it takes years to make one bit of yarn and people would just walk around naked because that's just a lot easier. I still need to unwind the cup from this one, which will probably a much more consistent yarn than what I made here, just because it was it, it felt a lot easier to me to work with this spindle. After using these spindles, what they are intended for, you really cannot convince me even more that these are not magic wands. They look the part and they play the part. So if you enjoy these kind of fiber shenanigans and maybe you could like, comment or subscribe, I am bewitching you that you should. Um, but that is actually all up to you, bewitching or not. And I will see you in a next video. Bye!